Hey Rams, welcome to Rambler TV's first sports access of the semester. I'm your host, Michael Acosta. Today's episode will feature highlights from the men's and women's first home games of the semester, a preview of the baseball and softball seasons, and we will also debate whether or not Wesleyan should have a football and lacrosse team later on in the show. So sit back and relax. Sports Access starts now. The men's and women's basketball teams had their first home games of the spring semester on January 21st against Wayland Baptist University. In case you missed the games, here's Jared and Ricardo with the recaps. Thanks, Michael. The women's team came out looking to upset the 21st ranked Flying Queens. They were able to match the intensity early as Caitlin Threats and the Lady Rams offense were trading baskets with the Flying Queens. But pretty soon, Wayland Baptist's deep bench took over and wore down the Lady Rams en route to a 91-60 victory. Threats led the Lady Rams in scoring with 23 points. The Rams were able to pick up a victory on Saturday, January 30th, against Mid-America Christian University. The Lady Rams will be back at home on Saturday, February 6th for homecoming as they take on Southwestern Christian University. That game is scheduled for a 3 p.m. start at the Sid Richardson Center. Now here's Ricardo with the men's recap. Thanks, Jared. The men were able to keep up their impressive season as they took on Wayland Baptist on January 21st. The Rams were able to tally another quick start, leading by double digits early, thanks to the play of Sam Cano and Chris Grisella. Wayland settled down and brought the score down to three at the half. The teams traded baskets back and forth in the second half until the Rams pulled way, late thanks to defense of B.J. Botts and the free throw shooting of Jarrell Ellis en route to a victory of 86 to 84. Akano led the Rams in scoring with 19, while Ellis chipped in 15. Big congratulations to the men for knocking off 7th ranked Mid-America Christian University this past Saturday, blowing them out 91-71. The Rams will be back at our SRC for homecoming on February 6th against Southwestern Christian University. Tip-off is scheduled for 5.15 p.m. Back to you, Michael. The baseball and softball teams are getting ready to kick off the 2016 campaign. Here's Jared with a preview of the upcoming seasons. Both teams are looking to start off the season with a winning attitude. The baseball team wants to improve on their 20 and 28 record from last season, while the softball team is working hard every day to improve on their disappointing 17 and 28 record from last year. The baseball team needs to polish a few areas of the game to get to where they want to be. Specifically, pitching and hitting is where they want to improve the most. The softball team wants to be more consistent and maintain intensity from game to game. Back to you, Michael. With a decision coming soon as to whether football and lacrosse will be brought here to Texas Wesleyan, we here at Sports Access wanted to have a little debate as to whether we think bringing those two sports is a good idea. Gentlemen, thank you for joining me today. First question I have is I want to weigh the pros and cons a little bit as to whether we think um, you know, that would be a good idea bringing those two sports here on this campus. <clears throat> well, I'll go ahead and start off first. Um, I think it will be a great addition to Texas Wesleyan. Uh, it brings new activities throughout the week on the weekend, um, brings more money into the school. I just think uh, there are a lot of pros to this football, specifically. Uh, Con-wise, I mean, students and the student athletes and the coaches don't like the prospect at all because I feel like their sports will be put to the back burner a lot. Uh, funding will be way down for their sport because most of the money that the college is accumulating will go into the football program and they just really don't like that idea. Well, see, I think one idea that they might be entertained with is the fact that the sub is going to be converted into a weight room if this is passed. So I think that that would be a huge benefit to the athletes here now. I mean, mostly, school's pretty small, and we have a weight room on campus already, and there's one in the second floor of the Sid Richardson Center already. So, I mean, they have more than enough room to lift weights, but I feel... Probably with the addition of a football team, they would need a bigger facility mm -hmm. because that's like over 50 plus people added. So that could be a good idea. But for the teams we already have, we really don't need one. You touched briefly on, um, you know, the the increase in student activities. You know, I'm sure y'all have been to other college football games, you know, on other campuses. What, what's the what's the student engagement like? What's the student sections like at those games? Hmm, well, I've been personally to a University of Texas game and. Um, that was amazing. I mean, the student, man, yells, screams, jumps. I mean, incredible. It was, that's the only word I could use to describe it was incredible. Now, our school's not going to be on the level of University of Texas, but I do think that just the idea of having a football team just brings a campus together because I can't tell you how many people I've talked to in my hometown, San Antonio, and we say we don't have a football team. They're like, what? You don't have a football team? 
So I think it'll definitely bring some much needed student unitement. Um, I agree with that. I mean, there's not really much cons to, for that. I mean, when you think college kids, they want to be entertained when they're not in class. So football is perfect, for, especially in this state where everything is driven by football, especially on Friday nights and Saturday mornings. So Absolutely. I feel like that's a good idea. There's not really many cons to come up with on that one. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about, I mean, this is an old debate, but, you know, we have so many teams on this campus that do not have facilities, or they don't have very good ones. You know, we have a baseball team that plays out in Grand Prairie. We have, you know, a tennis team that, you know, doesn't even play anywhere remotely close to the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Where, where would they possibly put a stadium in, you know, we can't even get students out to Grand Prairie to cheer on the baseball team. I mean, is, you know, would we really, you know, would students really go out and see a football game, do you think? Enough people would do it. I mean, of course you're going to have those people who, A, don't like football, and then you have those people, B, who really don't care about Wesleyan in general. They're just here to get an education. So, um, but the people that do like football, which is probably about at least 50% of the student body, is going to like the prospect of being able to do something on a Saturday morning or afternoon, like go to a football game instead of just sitting in their dorm room waiting for Monday's morning classes. Like, it gives them something to do on a day that they usually don't have anything else to do. Shifting gears to lacrosse a little bit, uh, what kind of an impact do you think lacrosse will have um, here on this campus? I think lacrosse will have a, a pretty decent impact. Um, it's uh, being brought because of Title IX, obviously, uh, and it's going to bring a, like, same thing with football, it's going to bring a bit more variety to the women's sports available here on campus, and I don't think that's necessarily a bad idea. I think that um, our sports here need variety. You always need variety. So I think lacrosse will definitely bring a positive impact to Texas Wesleyan. Uh, I agree. I feel like it could potentially have a great impact. It's obviously not going to be as big as the football impact because football has more numbers, more money involved, but lacrosse could be big also because more uh, women's sport exposure. With Title IX, you have more women's sports. We already have more women's sports here than men's sports. So, I mean, it's just another women's sport that we're going to get along with football. Since football has so many males, we've got to add those females in so it evens out. So we have an equal number of men and women athletes on the campus. So I feel like it could have a great impact. I mean, lacrosse, not a whole lot of people know about it in this area, but it's one of the largest growing things in North America for women's sports. So it's pretty good. Now, should we, should we be able to get both of those teams? What do you think that would do from, like, a recruiting standpoint? Do you think we, you know, bring in more recruits, you think? Um, I think if we get both of those sports up, but definitely it's going to bring in a ton, a ton of recruits. I mean, like I said, a lot of people are surprised at the fact that Wesleyan doesn't have a football team. So with the word spreading, man, so many students are going to be coming to Texas Wesleyan just for the chance to play football just because maybe they didn't have the grades in high school or maybe they didn't have the money to go to a bigger university. So they're going to be, gonna, people are craving for, a, um, how can I say, a possibility to show their talents uh, on a plane that they had in high school but don't have now. It's the same thing for lacrosse. So um, I think they're going to bring in an amazing amount of recruits. Uh, sure. Yeah, possibly. I mean, you have a lot of high schools in this area. And not all the kids that play football that are pretty good at it get to go to the big schools or even the small schools. So, I mean, we're probably going to have transfers coming in from other colleges, junior colleges, places like that. So, I mean, recruitment is probably not going to be too difficult, especially in this area. We're almost smack dab in the central of Fort Worth and the Metroplex area. It's a pretty nice place to be. So it's possible that we can get recruits pretty easily. Last question. Uh, I mean, do you all think it's a good idea bringing, bringing these two sports? Yes, no? Why and why? Um, I think only time will tell. Um, we can't know yet. We, we don't know anything yet. We don't even know if they're coming to the campus yet. But from the, what I've seen and from what I've been told, I think that football and lacrosse would be an excellent, excellent prospect for Texas Wesleyan. Um, uh, from what I've heard, some people are really, really excited for it. And I'm, I'm one of them. I'm very excited for it, football and lacrosse to be brought here to Texas Wesleyan. More variety more people to come to the campus, I mean, you know, why, why would you be against that? I don't, I don't know. Uh, I feel like it would be a good idea, but initially at the beginning, it could possibly have some faults. I mean, it's a lot of money to pump into a new program that we don't know if it's going to succeed or fail. So um, if it does succeed, it'll probably be very beneficial to the university and to the school. 
So I feel like in the long run, it'd be a great idea. In the short term, it's going to be a little iffy. Um, let's not forget about lacrosse. I mean, lacrosse is also part of this. It's just not we're getting, like we're getting football if we do get it. Um, lacrosse is one of the grow, fastest growing women's sports in the country right now. So that's pretty good exposure for Wesleyan to have one of those sports that is also up and coming. So yeah, I think it's a good idea. All right, well, we will find out uh, here sometime soon, hopefully, whether football and lacrosse will be brought here to Texas Wesleyan, so stay tuned. That's all we have for today's show. Be sure to like The Rambler and Rambler TV on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Have a great week.